Who who would be president if you voted a yeah, guy on the team right now? President, who would be president? The guy on the team? Yeah, that's how I shot. None, none of you, guys. really? Yes, sir. You want to vote for anybody? I, maybe you, right? <laughs> yes, sir. You're my man. <laughs> what about Tyler Sharp? Makes him uh, the best presidential candidate? Yeah, my guy Tyler. He's the coolest guy on the team, I think. Uh, Tyler, uh, for, for a guy who say they don't, he doesn't talk much. Tyler talks a lot. He's a very funny, goofy guy. <laughs> Speaking of not talking too much, Coach, Coach P said he's not yelling as much. Oh, yes, sir. Is, is that true? I agree with that. Really? I agree with that. <laughs> I think it was only uh It's really hard to believe, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was dang over there. That he, he, was, he wasn't covering for Coach. He said Coach P was still yelling. Well, so. Yeah, I, I agree with it on camera. I <laughs> Ray, I, I read in the media guide that you think that you would be best suited on the show Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that show. Yeah, why, so. why would you be good on, on yeah. that show? Um, Other than just being taller than all the other yeah, sure. <laughs> I, um, I collect a lot of stuff like shoes, clothing, just different things, and I'm, I love to sell it to get rid of it. So you have an eye for good stuff, you think? Yes, I definitely. Okay. You got a lot of yard sales? I don't. I don't. I should. My mom does, though. She does a lot of yard sales. <laughs> um, Tony was saying that when he goes out, he can't decide half the time if he's going to use the pickup line. I play for Louisville basketball, or I've got an Ivy League degree. <laughs> which, one, which one are you recommending you go with on that one? Ivy League degree. Ivy League, <laughs> Ivy League degree. <laughs> I'm curious, I've asked a few of your teammates, and obviously for the guys who are from this country, it's a lot different, but yes, Coach Patino was just talking about it in his press conference. How much have you guys talked about Colin Kaepernick and, and the unrest with police and black community in, in the United States? Has that come up at all with you guys? Or? Yes, I definitely. We, uh, we talk about that a lot. I mean, um, I agree with what he's doing. I mean, it's, it's a great great cause. He, he's, he means it well by it and does a lot for it, but I mean... Um, I don't. I don't know if I would like support into that just because I don't. I don't do that type of thing. I mean, I speak up for what's right and what's wrong. But I mean, there's there's things that's going on like different places. Like there's things that go on here in Louisville, like with killings and stuff and people mm -hmm. dying. Like you don't see much people talking about that besides like the news and stuff. Like no one does anything major about that. I mean, I've had a, lost a few relatives and friends myself, but I don't know. Um, I support what he does, and I think it's the right cause. But I mean, I wish someone would speak up for what's going on here in different places. Mm -hmm. Sorry to kill the. Uh, <laughs> We've mentioned uh, Tony Hicks already, and, and also um, Tyler Sharp. Those are two of the newcomers. What, what were your early impressions of, of the guys that are new to the team this year? Yes, sir. Um, I really like them. I really enjoy playing with them. Uh, Dwayne, that was my guy. Uh, we grew up together, played uh, high school basketball against each other, played together too when we were younger, and grew up. I mean, he's like a family member to me. Were you surprised that he was kind of under recruited and, and he was able to go to where he went and it was so good that it led to him to have the opportunity to play at a school like Louisville? Yes, I definitely. I've, um, I've always knew Dwayne was a uh, high potential basketball player. I mean, we played high school basketball together in EYBL for a little bit before I went back to the Ville. And, I mean, you know, the guys, like, he's definitely Division one, Division one like material, like all over. For this year's practices, Coach Pino said it's been really competitive, especially at your position and, and the rest of the front court. How does it compare to a year ago as far as how competitive it was? You guys are kind of collectively filling the void that Chinanu left. How competitive have practice has been so far? Yes, sir. It's very competitive. I think that's just because um, everybody wants to get just everyone wants to get better, and everyone knows how better they've gotten over the summer. So like that really carries over in practice, and I think it'll help us a lot when game time comes.